Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna and in today's video I am going to show you what I keep in this diaper bag for both my kids. So I have a two year old and I have a 10 month old and I use this diaper bag for Nova when I first had her back in 2020. I purchased this freshly picked. I love this diaper bag. They did have a smaller one but I chose to get this one because I knew we were gonna have more kids. I did not know however that I would be pregnant with my second daughter when my first was only 11 months. So they are 19 months apart and uh, yeah, here we are. So like I said, we have a two year old and we have a 10 month old and I pack everything in here. So we're actually gonna head out and enjoy the sun. It's been raining here for a while uh, and it's been really cold. So we're getting some good sun. Hopefully it stays around for a couple of days but we're gonna go out and enjoy this weather. That means my diaper bag is all filled up and all prepped and ready to go. So I wanted to show you what we keep inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, last thing. If you're interested in this diaper bag, I will have a link down below as well as everything that you see in this video, I'll have it linked down below. But I did film a video like two years ago. I was still pregnant. I had just got this diaper bag and I did like a diaper bag tour. I showed you the inside, I gave you all the specs. So make sure to hop over and watch that video if you're interested in like the layout of the bag. But I'm just gonna unpack it and then pack it back up <laughs> so we can get out of here. But I wanna show you all what's in here. So. Okay, when you're looking at it straight on, there's a little pouch here in the front. I do not typically put anything in here unless it's flat. So if we are flying, I might put our boarding tickets in here, um, like our boarding passes or like just anything that's flat, I might put in here, but I really don't like bulky, weird poking things out. So I don't really put anything in there. On this side, it is a pouch. It's kind of snug right now. We'll talk about that and reasons why. But um, I might slip my phone in here because it is nice and tight, so it's empty right now. On this side of the diaper bag, there is another pouch, and this has the black girl sunscreen in it. So I am a black girl, and I have two young black girls. <laughs> and this is the sunscreen. It is um, SPF 30 infused with jojoba and avocado oil, water resistant, and it's just awesome. So. This I have found works for me and my girls the best. I did have a different one, but it was leaving our skin looking ashy and white and I did not like it. So, yep, we have that in there. And then this is the back. It has like a little clip or what do you call it? Snap. Again, I don't keep anything in here basically for the same reason as why I don't keep anything in the front. It has a really, really sturdy handle right here as well as the backpack straps, which I love. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the bag. So when you open up the bag, it has the zipper that goes across to keep everything nice and closed. And then it also has these snaps on the side. So typically they snap together. Sometimes they're extremely full and they don't slap. Uh, they don't snap, but whatever, it's super cute. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I'm just gonna, I mean, we're just, we're just filled to the brim here. So I'm gonna show you what I keep in here. First thing I'm pulling out is a snack cup. This is typically for Aurora, which is my 10 month old, but Nova can dig her hand in here too. Typically I have something separate for Nova, like a little plastic baggie or something, a sandwich bag that has snacks in it and she's able to hold it in her car seat and just pick out of it. Aurora, I'm trying to control the mess a little bit more, so we have a cup for her. Um, she is 10 months, so milk is still her main source of I, uh, uh, is her main source of everything. So um, I am no longer breastfeeding, but she is on formula, so I brought two bottles. This is the Komotomo, sorry, this is the Komotomo, and this is the Boon bottle. And they're both five ounce bottles. Uh, along that same vein, we have this, and so this is the formula separator. So if you see, there's three separate compartments for formula. Each compartment has enough formula to make a five ounce bottle and essentially it has a spout and you can pour in and do all that stuff once you've measured out your water. Speaking of water, we have a reusable water bottle. So I have a glass water bottle that I use um, and I fill it up with filtered water from home and I then use that to pour in her bottles and then 
make the formula. Typically, I can do this in the car, I can do this if we're at a restaurant, I can do this wherever. It is room temperature, so if we do go somewhere and I feel like she may want some warm formula, I do ask for a hot cup of water and just like sit the bottle in there for a little bit, but typically room temperature is totally fine for her, and yeah, she's not picky. All right, let's stay with the main compartment. I did kind of pull out the bottle, and I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a pouch right here. That's where I got the water bottle from. And then on the opposite side, it's an insulated pouch, and that is holding Nova's water bottle. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the main part of the bag. I have, this is honestly ridiculous, but I have three different teethers. This is a little avocado one from Nook, N-U-K, I guess. This is a little fruity one. Um, it came in a set of fruits and veggies that you could like hold on to and bite and then this is just one from i think one of her love every kids not really sure but she loves this one and favors this one a lot because she can like stick her whole thumb in it and like really huh you know get into it so she has two teeth at the bottom so adorable but she likes to bite on stuff so i need to get i need to keep these on hand so i have all of her teething stuff all right i have a cute little hat for if for whatever reason i need to throw a hat on her this is from baby gap I will try to link it. It's kind of old, but if I don't, then just know it's from Baby Gap from a long time ago. But uh, I'll see if I can find something similar. All right, also in that main spot, I have just a really light blanket. This opens up to be really, really big. So this is something that if we want to go to a park and sit on the grass, I usually break this out. Or if it's like getting a little chilly and we weren't expecting it, I can throw this over. Uh, the car seat or the shoulder or whatever it is so multi-use i do have one burp cloth she's not really spitting up or you know doing much of that anymore but to wipe anything on her mouth on her hands whatever i can just use that <sighs> here we go so for a very long time i had two kids in diapers so nova is potty trained she is doing really well she's actually gone quite a while like weeks without an accident but um, I still have just emergency diapers for her, don't ask me why. I'm one of those mom who's, I just, just in case, just in case. So I have a couple of diapers for Aurora. I have our diaper wipes, we use the water wipes. And these are the diaper bag wipes. Like I do not take these out of the diaper bag. So they are always in there. I, I tip for you is just to keep everything in your diaper bag just keep it there and leave it there unless it's perishable obviously um, like your snacks and stuff but just leave it there so you don't have to keep repacking it all the time just kind of take the trash out throw all those things away and then you know refill it when you're ready but you have like the essentials so like I said Nova is potty trained so she has a pair of underwear just in case there's a little accident we have some undies for her and some pants these are just basic black pants which I might need to switch these out because they look a little small yeah Nova is definitely between like a 3 and 4T right now and this is a 2T so I'm gonna go ahead and switch those out to her other black pair that are a little bit longer but yeah we have all that just in case stuff for Nova in there all right, so that's everything in the main pocket of the diaper bag. Let's go ahead and go around the perimeter. So um, let's start here. So in this pouch, it's like a rectangular pouch. I It's like magnetic and it closes, it's really awesome. I have this bag. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from the newbie box. Yeah, the newbie box when I was pregnant with Nova and I did all of these like free baby registry boxes that would come to the house. So this came in. So it's basically like a reusable um, wet bag. So I don't know if there is like a soiled underwear for, for Nova or pants or whatever, I can throw those in here really quick, bring them home, throw it all in the wash. So I have that just in case. Also in there, I have our changing pad. So this is the one that came with the diaper bag. I love it, so whatever, but it unclips and then it becomes, you know, a really long changing pad. Some changing pads are really not that long, um, but I really do love this one because it's pretty long. And again, my girls are tall and long, so that works for us. All right, in there, I also have these alcohol-free hand sanitizing wipes by, who is this by? Baby Gannix. So 20 come in a pack and it's in the scent mandarin so no sulfates no dyes no synthetic frequencies no parabens and i really do love this so again because it is alcohol free i can clean their hands i can clean their pacifiers i can clean whatever 
the heck is going on, but I keep these in here. I can clean my hands. And then, and the last thing that I have in that little like area are these mats. So if for whatever reason we find ourselves out at a restaurant, which we haven't done a whole lot, honestly, because when Nova was just born, it was like global pandemic shutdown. Don't go outside, like you're not allowed to go outside. And then now having two kids, we're still kind of adjusting to that and what it's like going out. But we do have these, um, what do you call these, like table cloths or like mats for them. It's adhesive and you just like stick it to the table that you're sitting at and you can put the food directly on here. I want them to have a clean area to eat. So I will um, stick those on the table and clean it up and throw it away before we leave. And it's just a lot more sanitary and less work on the folks at the restaurant. And if you're interested in these, again, it'll all be linked down below. I keep four of them at a time just because, I don't know, two for each of them. And then uh, it comes in a pack of like 40 for like less than 10 bucks. So yeah, awesome. All right, so that's it in there. Let's go to the one that's above it. It's a zippered. Um, this one is like for me, I guess, or like the miscellaneous. So in here we have a tiny thing of Vaseline for me and the girls. <laughs> we have a snack for myself. We have some masks. And if y'all saw that, that was my pen that flew over. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but there are times I just need a pen, okay? I just need a pen. So I keep it in here. We have hand sanitizer, another mask, which I'm probably gonna take out. And then I just have some tampons for me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to the other side, the opposite end of the diaper bag. And that has these two pouches here. This is the snack stuff just in case you haven't noticed i have nova's spork it's a spoon and a fork they come together and you can use either side or you can separate them i keep this for her so just in case we have a snack that that is needed for she has that and then also at restaurants like sometimes their silverware is just too big and too pointy like those forks literally be like this long those like prongs be like this long and it's just easier for her and aurora actually to have utensils that they can use that are their size so I carry that. It's either this or I have like a separate silverware for them, like a spoon, knife, and fork kind of set. So it's either that or the little spork thingy. All right, snacks on snacks on snacks. These PB&J snack duos from Trader Joe's. Nova is in love with these. Oh, if y'all haven't tried these, these are so good. And Nova loves them, so we have that. We have Cheerios. They both can eat the Cheerios. Mainly Aurora will eat them. I have some peanuts. Mainly Nova will eat these. And I have a fruit cup. I think these are probably peaches. And she can use the spoon if we need to. Alright, and the other side I have some fruit snacks uh, from Annie's. These are the fruit bunnies in the berry patch flavor. And then I have some Happy Baby Organic Teether Crackers. These are for Aurora even though Nova loves them as well. Super random, but I, I brought this last time. I had this in my diaper bag from like a couple days ago. Nova was like, apple, apple. Like she really wanted an apple. So anyway, I brought it in here, but she didn't even want it. Okay. I might keep it in there for today or I might take it out. We have a pacifier and a pacifier clip. This is for Aurora. And um, she doesn't typically use a pacifier unless she's asleep at night, but we have it in there. I have socks for both of them, emergency socks. I don't know. Just a thing, I want them to be warm and I, Aurora likes to kick her socks off so I need to have like a pair ready. And Nova, I'm thinking like if she has an accident or something and then it just like comes down her pants and I, I wanna change her socks as well cause I just don't like my socks being wet or soggy. Or if she jumps in a puddle, like it's a thing. So uh, I wanna have extra socks for her. And then the last thing in here is some, some sunglasses. These were for Nova but she didn't really like them, so we might see if Aurora wears these. I don't know, sunglasses for the kids. Whew. Okay, that is it. And then, oh, the last thing, I actually have it on the strap. These are diaper bags. It's kind of like the, <laughs> kind of like the little poop bags for dogs, but anyway, it like turns so you can find the bag. Oh shoot, I think I'm gonna turn it all around again for you, hold on. Oh, there we go. So you can pull it out, boom, 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 like that, pull it out. You can wrap the diaper up in here and throw it away or put it in your diaper bag until you can get this is from the brand ubi um we have the ubi diaper pail so we got this as well so there it comes with the actual like 
canister to hold them, the roll of bags, and then it comes with a spare roll of bags. So the spare roll of bags is in our downstairs like closet area, but uh, one roll is in here. So really awesome. All right, that is everything that is in my diaper bag for two kids, my 10 month old and my two year old. So thank y'all so much for watching. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I am this close to reaching 4,000 subscribers here on my channel and I would love for you to join in on that and become part of the fam. You can find me at The Fortitude Fix here on YouTube. You can find The Fortitude Podcast wherever you get your podcast. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at The Fortitude Fix as as well in my website and my blog thefortitudefix.com thank you all so much for being here i will see you all in my very next video and as always remember to fill your cup bye